hospital sites in northern New Jersey on Wednesday. The governor, joined by Lieutenant General Todd Seminite of the Army Corps of Engineers, Police Superintendent Colonel Pat Callahan, and the Health Commissioner Judith Persichelli, started the day at East Orange General Hospital, where a once closed off wing has been brought to life and outfitted with 250 beds. This site is set to open May 5th. The group then touring Newbridge Medical Center, where a gym was converted into a 30-bed facility that will open Monday. A tent is also being erected on site, which will have an additional 100 beds, and that part is scheduled to open April 29th. Uh, after this, the, the three field stations that you, you add up the amount of beds, we have plussed up our capacity in a dramatic way. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have been hard at work for weeks, reworking these locations to help the current wave of COVID-19 patients and also to give the governor options and an insurance plan in the event the virus comes back. If this virus behaves like a lot of other viruses that look like it, and there's a lot of discussion about that, um, we could see it come back in through the back door in the fall or winter. And God willing, we'll have done a lot of stuff to be as prepared for that as possible if that happens, and this is a big example of that preparation. Wednesday marking a very busy day for the governor. In addition to touring both these medical facilities, he also delivered his daily COVID-19 briefing back in Trenton. In Bergen County, I'm Emily Young, New Jersey News Network.